everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter if you're religious, happy Sunday if you're not. If you don't know who I am, I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. But outside of my graduate studies, I'm really big into the Eurovision Song Contest. So this year I decided I wanted to continue doing reactions, even though Eurovision was unfortunately canceled, in order to continue expressing my own thoughts and opinions, and also to engage in dialogue with, my, with Eurovision fans and my Eurovision friends from around the world. So, as you know, it's Sunday, it's Easter Sunday, so for me it's wine night, hey. So I decided to dress up a little bit more. This isn't actually a dressy shirt, I got it from ASOS, um, <laughs> but I can pretend like it is. But this is more dressed up than y'all have seen me. So, you know, I don't dress up. I dress up quite often actually, but not since we've been stuck in the house. So anyway, <laughs> tonight we are starting with our bottom 10 for Eurovision. 2006. So, we're starting with 10th place and going, we're starting with 10th from the bottom and going to the very bottom. And this is the bottom, not just in the grand final, but the bottom overall. So, I'm really interested to get into this. It looks like Albania was 10th from the bottom this year with Luis Ailey and the song Zarefto Zarefto Hey, look, I did my best. I did my best. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to listen to this. I don't know how long it's been since Albania has been this low. I'm trying to think in recent years. I know they didn't qualify in 2017 with um, Lindita. They qualified in 2018 with Maul. They qualified in 2018 with Janita. Shout out to um, Maul and I know Janita's the name and Moss the song, but forgive me. Um, shout out to you Jan and Janita because those were both fantastic. Or Yonita, maybe it's Yonita. Shout out to you Jan and Yonita for those fantastic Albanian entries. And I, I want to say they would have qualified this year, um, but I don't know how long it's been since they've been this low. I can't. I don't know if Lindita was this low in 2017. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm excited to hear this because I know Albania always sends good songs, even when they didn't qualify. Lindita totally should have qualified, but that's a different story for a different time. But let's see what Albania sent to Europe in 2006. I kind of remember this song, kind of not. So let's go ahead and get into this because I'm mad excited. Okay, that has to be an ethnic instrument. It looks like a whole sheep. Like it looks like that man is carrying a sheep. <laughs> oh, y'all, Loki, he's cute. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> he's good looking. Good for him. So this is an ethnic entry and it's in Albania, so Ziarefto. Okay, I'm saying perhaps I'm saying why this is in the box. Because he is great. Like, he, he looks great. He sounds good. He's, there's nothing wrong with his vocals. It does feel a little bit contained. Like, he's not moving around much. Nobody is moving around much on stage. But again, that doesn't make the song bad. It just means perhaps they could have done the staging a little differently. Maybe they needed a dancer or two. Like, because even his movements are a little bit restricted. Again, that doesn't make mean the song is bad. Because actually listening to this, I remember the song and I like the song. But with Eurovision being a staged type of performance, there has to be something more. So I feel like for me, that's the only thing that's lacking because the staging is a little bit contained. But I love the song still. Like everyone's staying in their little bubbles, I feel.
That is a cool sounding instrument. Can somebody tell me what that is? See, I like that. Now everybody's moving a little bit more. You can see it getting more lively on stage. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. That's cool. And I like the white green outfit. The white suit, but with the green undershirt, it looks good. Go Louise, look. Y'all, I didn't think that was that bad. And I feel like this is probably going to be my thoughts with most of the bottom 10, because I don't think it was that bad. But there was, there was one thing that I think could have been done better, and I think that's just, they could, there, there could have been more dynamic staging. Because I think the one who moves most, most consistently was the lead singer, which is great, but even he didn't move too much. He was still kind of planted in his one little spot. And then the backing singers were over here, and then the other two were over here. The one playing the instrument, and then the other kind of ethnically dressed backing vocalist. So I think it was a good song. Vocally, it was executed well. I like the hoo ha in the backing vocalist. I think the only thing that really dragged it down for me would be the lack of movement overall. But anyway, he looks good, they looked good. The backing singers kind of looked like they were from a 1990s boy band, but you know what, it was only 2006, so it wasn't too far removed from the 90s. But anyway, I enjoyed listening to that. Because look, I, like I always say, I kind of come to enjoy 99% of Eurovision entries very much, especially after the year is over. Like for example, 2018 was the first year that I watched live. Going into it, I didn't love every song, but coming out of it, I loved every song. And now, I don't think there's a song from 2018 that I will not listen to all the way through. Same with 2019. I didn't love every song going in, but coming out, love every song. Because Eurovision just, because it happens every year, it kind of allows you to come into this place where you were in that year. So in 2018, you know, I was graduate, I had graduated from college and I was working full time and I don't know, I was just in this transitional space. And so listening to 2018 songs bring me back to that space. And so Eurovision is really powerful in that way that I feel like a lot, not too many other people talk about, but so I like this song a lot actually. I think it could have been executed better on stage, but you know how many times songs can be executed better on stage a lot. So anyway, y'all, my mom, God love her, called me in the middle of damn filming that. So, as I was saying, if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. Comment below your thoughts on this song. Do you think 10th from the bottom was okay for this song? Do you think it should have been higher? Do you think it should have been lower? Um, and then if you like my reactions and you want to see more of my reactions, and maybe I'll show you more of my outfits too, then subscribe because I plan to keep doing these reactions. This week we're going through the bottom 10 of Eurovision 2006, and next week is the off week, so I'm going to be doing five, about five entries from Eurovision 2006 that are not in the top of the bottom 10, and I'm also going to be doing some random reaction requests that I have. I still listen to your reaction requests. I still have them stored, so know that I'm going to get to them. And then the week after that, we're going to be starting with 2007. So I'm super excited because I have heard and seen nothing of 2007. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. And as always, I will see you next time.